Winner is just around the corner as you get a look at Bill Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle. And he won't quite make it to the 25 with the Miami Dolphins. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year, is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackle miss, whether he was in the hole or on the perimeter. I expect him to get to 1,000 yards rushing this season. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Good tackle for a loss there by Kyle Van Noy, and he had his best years in New England. Let him in combined tackles in 2018, and they won the Super Bowl at the conclusion of that season. Miami certainly hopes he can help. A defense that ranked 30th in yards allowed per game last year. They certainly hope he can lead and continue to show plays like that. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and 10. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Byron. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish yourselves and let them know this is going to be tough going all game long. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. He'll throw from the gun. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Third down. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. A gain of eight and a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. It's a pickup of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Tua going to hand this one to Burita. 
Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. He's tackled at the 40 yard. Well, when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. From the gun, it's Tua. On the right side, open is Gasicki. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. That throw is not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. And you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Run there by Matt Breida, and he spent the early part of his career in San Francisco sharing the backfield and sharing the ball. What you really want with him, open space and make sure he's touching it because he can take it from zero to the end zone in a very short amount of time. Two and now on first down. His throw incomplete. And that is first incompletion after a four for four start. Yeah, but they should back off from what they're doing. I like the play calling right out of the gate. I like the tone that they're setting. Keep going in that direction. A second and 10 on a chilly, snowy December day. And I must say, I'm loving it. Kind of putting me in the holiday spirit. Charles, Charles hates it. And he's giving me the evil eye, folks. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. And that second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. This will be caught at about the six. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. And again, this Buffalo defense there and run support to stop him behind the line. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Flushed out right, and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away, and the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Now, these are not going to be easy on a cold, snowy night, but this one is up and through. Dolphins 7, Bills nothing.
Jason now Sanders. after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over, You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? You're giving, it, giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we've got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something bods in the game from it. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. On second and nine. Allen, he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. At the 39-yard line. Coverage terrific there as that's knocked out. Late. Eric Rowe that time able to knock that pass away. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz, draw play is supposed to work very well. You're supposed to have them bypass the runner, and he slips past them. But they put their eyes in the right place, took away all the creases, and slowed him down in a big way. He can run for it, and he will. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. comes at one, and it's Allen. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. Byron Jones. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so they can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Allen going to throw. And he's able to find Diggs. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Dolphin seven, Bills nothing. 
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And they'll lose yardage here, knocked back to the 19-yard line. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. A second and 11 from the 19. Allen now looks to throw. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. The Mills passing game getting him down the field. They've got another first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. They run here with Singletary. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here this close, sneak it. I don't think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Taken about a yard deep and tackled at the 21 yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Jordan call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. On second down, a run with Breida. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Three-yard gain on the play. Brings up third down. The Dolphins on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and seven. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Quentin Jefferson in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. On fourth down, Matt Hawk to punt it away. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. And the return man will shuffle through the white stuff, secure the fair catch with both hands. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Now 
Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 45. He'll set up the throw from the gun. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. Taking it right down Broadway. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 55 yards. And the Bills have taken the lead. And sometimes those slants, they can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it just happens so quickly. And really, it will get set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. He went all the way into the end zone. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And that makes the score 14-7. to Touchdown Bass to kick it away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. Miami set to take over. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath, nearly got picked. They may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. And the 11. Looking to pass to him. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. It's a gain of eight. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Operating from the gun, Allen throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Brings up third down and two. The Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Here's Allen to throw it. 
sliding out of the pocket. He may try and run for this. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. On first down, Allen finding Knox there complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. Now Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Three yards the game there, second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. They'll run here with Singletary. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. From the gun, Allen. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. And that one off the mark, a little late with a throw. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. Off a of play action, tongue of Iloa. And he fires one that's intercepted. The all-pro corner, Tredavious White picks it off. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. The first down pass, intercepted. So after the INT, it's Allen. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force in completion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet, so they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Makes it third and four. The Bills on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Allen. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Here's Hallett. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Now on second and 13. 
Allen, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Operating from the gun, Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's a second missed field goal here in this first half. He'll have to think about that going forward. Maybe time for a little soul searching as well. Yeah, the head coach might be looking towards the heavens because you wonder if this will affect the fourth down decision making going forward. If you get fourth and three, fourth and four, situations that used to be calls for the kicker might get a second thought. A handoff to Breida to begin the drive. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Running out of the gun here, Breida. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Good tackle there by Tremaine Edmonds, who came into the league as one of the youngest players ever drafted in the first round and has lived up to the hype and matured quickly. Led the team in tackles last year. Can go sideline to sideline and make any kind of play you're looking for. I'm still trying to get over the nightmare of his father burning me for a touchdown back in college. Two are going to throw. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 12 yards there. The Dolphins have a first down. Two are going to try and go quickly here. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Jakeem Grant, 40 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Jason Sanders now to add the extra point. point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Andre Roberts now to return it. 
And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Buffalo set to get the football back here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Here's Allen on first and 10. He's going to take off with it. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. Throwing again on second down. Allen. On the left side, he finds Beasley. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. down and they're going to throw with Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 16 yards there and the Bills have a first down. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. the gun. Allen. Now he'll pull it down. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throw again on second down. Allen rolling, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Emmanuel Ogba that time able to drop him for a loss. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Operating from the gun, Allen. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. Well, they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And over the middle, this is Parker. 
Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. On first down, here's Breida. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Ball carrier. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play action, now it's Tua. Brought in over the middle by Graham. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. A gain of six there on first. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 27-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Two and now on first down. Buying time to his left. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. Tua wants to throw it on second down. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? This is Breida on the draw. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. A gain of eight yards, and it's third down. Here's Tua. Now he's got it. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Mike Gesicki on the pass from Tua Tonga Vailoa. And the Dolphins have broken our tie as they take the lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to the wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead is now 21-14.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 36-yard line. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. On play action, Allen. This one caught by Davis. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 22. That's another Bills. First down. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Emmanuel Ogba able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And that's his second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. On second down, Singletary. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. The kick by Bass is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So the three points there gets him a bit closer, but you can bet there's probably some guys on that sideline, Charles, thinking we deserve a better play. No doubt, Brandon. Those two misses earlier are kind of hanging over him right about now. In a tight one like this, if those are makes, then obviously this is a completely different game. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This is Jakeem Grant. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. 
A gain of three, second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. At the 27-yard line. On second down, Tua. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. 23 yards the pick up there. It's a game There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? From midfield, here's Tua. On the crossing route, complete. That's Grant. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. The intended receiver was Jakeem Grant, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Tunga Vailoa's pass thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It's third down and 10 yards to go. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Two and a throw again. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Out of the shotgun, Breda. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. There'll be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, it's Tua. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And all the way down to the five. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. First and goal at the five-yard line. Tua sets up to pass it. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. To Mike Gesicki. Mike Gesicki, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Sanders, Sanders on for the, for the extra point. point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Makes the score Dolphins 28, Bills 17.
Jason. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The quarterback. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead. And they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. So the shotgun snap to Allen. On the move to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quitting him. Zero. Allen's throw is complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills have cut it to within a score. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the podcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. They'll begin the drive with Breda. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. He's tackled. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal? that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball. They run again with Breida. Room here to run. 
Allen. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 15 yards on the play, first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. It's Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Tunga by Aloha. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. The Dolphins on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Intercepted. So after the INT, it's Allen. Allen hit. He lost the football. And the Dolphins have got it. Allen on the keeper. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball. And we just saw there that that's difficult to do but just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on, but the biggest one, hold on to the ball. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Mike Gesicki on the pass from Tua Tonga of Iloa. And the Dolphins take advantage of the turnover and put up six. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out go out and play and extend the lead and that's what he did Jason Sanders now after the touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders Roberts now on the return and he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Back onto the field now comes the Bills' offense. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All came long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> and this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over, 
is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. He'll buy some time right. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. From the gun, it's Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throwing again, Allen. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Brings up third down and ten. The Bills on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and ten. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. Allen to throw once more. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Again, they'll throw with Allen. They'll roll him out right. He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Now, yes, a two-possession gain, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Out of bounds at the 23-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's good. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. First well, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing now is Allen. Sliding out of the pocket. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Zach Moss, Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year a season ago. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills draw a bit closer. 
A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. Miami set to take over. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now it's Breda. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Set up a screen for Breida. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. Here's Breda, and he's got Rome. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Stay on the ground. Again, it's Breda. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. touchdown. Matt Breda, 57 yards. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but... I'm looking at your face, and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and his guys will take a 10-point lead.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Roberts on the return. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. To throw is Allen. And Beasley with it over the middle. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Back to throw. Allen. And he will find Davis. That's complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield. And too much time is going to run off the clock. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Now Allen. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Allen to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the Pro Bowler, Byron Jones. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First and 10. At the victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. And they will take a knee here. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Tonight's final well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.